Hi there everyone, this is Kate coming to you from the Gold Coast, still from my study. Um, I wanted to come to you from the beach as I usually do today, but unfortunately over the weekend the weather has been pretty poor, lots of rain. Um, the sun has come out um, for the most part, uh, still a bit of rain hang hanging around but mostly it's just really windy outside at the moment so the sound quality of my video wasn't that great so I had no choice but to come back home to do this video. But um, anyway, here we are and uh, on my blog post today I'm going to be talking about how we can really commit to finishing our novel. Um, so this may have been a New Year's resolution for you maybe um, to get your book finished, whether it's a novel, uh, like a fiction story, whether it's a non-fiction book or um, uh, a novel or a short story. Um, it, if that's your goal to finish that up this year, then um, we will work on that today. I've got some advice for you. So, um, yeah, the the concept of finishing your work, especially if it's something as big of, of, as a novel, can be quite daunting indeed. Um, I did a survey on uh, a couple of different writers and the um, idea that most freaked them out about finishing their their novel was um, the fear of sort of not being able to gather all of these ideas together into a satisfactory ending. Um, and also there was some uh, fear there about um, coming to the end and, and putting this work out there into the world and letting other people see it and there's a possibility of criticism there of course. Um, you've sort of loved and nurtured your story and your characters up until this point uh, and now you're going to have other people see it and they might not like it and they may criticise it. It can definitely be very scary. I can definitely relate to that. I've, I've certainly been there myself before. Um, but basically it comes down to it is that if you do want to get the book published it is going to have to go out there into the world so um, we are going to have to get a little bit tough on ourselves there um, so yeah um, yeah like I said it, it is quite scary sort of getting that finished but uh, if you really want to bite the bullet and commit to finishing your book you do need a plan uh, and a willingness to see that plan through. So that's what I'm going to help you with today as well. Um, so yeah, ideally when you're starting out, um, before you start working on the book, you will have a plan in place. However, um, if you've already started your book, um, it is definitely not too late to implement a plan um, or an outline. Um, it, can, um, it can definitely be very helpful and um, I do have a plot planning sheet available in the author resources area of my website, my writer's resources page. Um, you can download that from Google Docs and you can use that for yourself. So you can use the plot planning sheet for novels, um, you know, longer works like novels or bigger books or you can use it for short stories, whatever it is you're working on really, you can use it. Um, part of the plot planning sheet is um, the ending, the climax, it, it you map out each part of your book, so you map out the beginning, the middle and the end, um, and part of that is mapping out the ending. Now, especially if you're using the plot planning sheet at the start of the writing process, you do not need to know exactly how your book is going to end. The plot planning sheet is purely designed to just to start to give you a basic outline of how these different parts of your book are going to to shape out so and I can tell you from experience that your plot will change so much over the time of the writing process um, and and you will be going back to the plot planning sheet and you'll be you'll be crossing things out and changing things it is just purely to sort of organize your ideas and just sort of give you some sense of direction of where you think that the story is going to go so there's no harm in changing it down the track whatever um, it just gives you that really general idea of how you're going to wrap up your book um, and some sort of light at the end of the tunnel as well um, so also I wanted to explain to you as well um, the type of ending that you can consider for your story. So 
I, I certainly, in the early writing processes, um, was really hung up on um, having a happy ending for my story, <laughs> um, a happy and joyous ending, which it just didn't match necessarily with the stories that I was writing. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're, the biggest lesson that I've learned is that even if your, your stories are long or short, is that the, the ending does not have to be good or happy. It just has to be satisfactory and conclusive. So it just has to bring all the ideas together and it just has to be satisfactory to the, author, to the reader, uh, to the author as well, <laughs> but definitely to the reader, um, that they feel like their time that they spent reading the story has not been wasted, it, it's all come together. Um, if you think of um, the first example that came to my mind was the movie Saw. If you have seen that movie, um, you brought yourself to be able to watch it. Um, it certainly does not have a happy ending, but all of the clues, all of the story, it all came together in a very satisfactory way. So everything made sense. Um, and it was, it was a satisfactory and c conclusive ending. Um, if you also sort of think of like m movies, for example, um, The Sixth Sense, <laughs> I think everybody by now knows how that movie ends. Not necessarily a happy ending, but it is a, a satisfactory and conclusive ending as well. Um, also, basically, if you've watched any of the romantic drama movies from the 1990s, like The Virgin Suicides or American Beauty, uh, they're certainly not happy endings. They're quite tragic endings to those stories, but they are satisfactory and they are conclusive to the story. It They just bring it all together. Um, so let me just follow this little script that I have here, just remind myself what I'm talking about. So uh, my last point for um, committing to finishing your book, getting that book finished, is committing. So committing to creating an ending to your story. So um, you're going to have to face that fear and take responsibility for uh, finishing the book. That's what you're going to have to do. It's not going to get done any other way. Um, it's it's not all up to you to shape um, the book to be the best that it can be. Um, just get it finished. It's it's a, if, especially if you're only on the first draft. Just get it finished. Um, do your best, and then seek the help of friends and family, uh, writers groups who can read the story for you. They can give you outsiders' feedback, uh, and also you can of course hire editors to give you a more professional uh, feedback as well. Um, these people can also help you craft your ending as well. They can give you perspectives, they can give you advice on how they would like to see the story end. It may be completely different to what you were thinking about how to end your story. They, they can give you some feedback about, as a reader, how it would be satisfactory for them to, to have this story finished. So um, also if you're really sort of serious about getting the books published and and um, professionally refined, you are going to have to do a second draft, very, very likely a third draft as well. So um, the, the first draft is the very, very beginning. So the sooner that you can just finish your book uh, and get on to those next drafts, um, the, the quicker the process is going to move along um, and you're just going to be able to, to move on through those stages. So um, if, if you're quite happy with just keeping your writing as a hobby, which is absolutely nothing wrong with that, and you, you're quite happy just to sort of mull over your book forever and ever and ever and just rewrite and fiddle around with it or do whatever you're doing, then most of this blog's probably not really going to apply to you. Um, and certainly don't let me stop you. If that's purely what you're wanting to do with your writing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But um, if you are wanting to get it out there and get it published, then you're going to have to finish it, quite obviously. Um, I really do enjoy the rewriting process, if that's of any consolation. I'm especially really enjoying the rewriting process of my first crime novel at the moment. Um, I've just finished typing up the first draft for 
Sins of the Sun, which is my um, first crime novel that I went to Ireland last year to research. Um, and basically, as soon as I finished typing it up, I printed it out and I'm rewriting it again. It seems like a really, um, almost like a pointless process in having done all that work beforehand only just to print it out and start rewriting it again. But that's what you do. That is rewriting. That's the nature of it. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm loving going back over the storylines, the ideas, the characters, the personalities. I'm just personally really, really enjoying that process. So um, it's, a, it's an opportunity to sort of revisit the story before it's put out into the world and it's finished. So um, do embrace it. Um, yeah, if you really want, but if you really want to finish, um, especially if you want to publish this book, um, you're going to have to get tough on yourself. Uh, you're going to have to trust, trust in yourself. Trust in yourself, your capabilities as a writer, and trust in your story. Trust that it is good enough to be read by other people and to be out there in the world. Um, so, uh, yeah, th this blog was sort of really focused. Like, I'm wanting to take my this blog in the direction of... Um, of publishing online using tools like Amazon, um, really focusing on that. However, I really did want to, with this blog, sort of just backtrack just a little bit and cover some some bases of um, just getting your book finished because you need a finished book before you can even think about publishing. So I certainly do hope that this advice has helped you. Um, if you do have any more questions, please don't uh, be afraid to send me an email. Um, to get in touch with me on social media as well. I've got the resources for writers section of my website now as well, which has got a list of all the different resources that I have used throughout my writing journey. Um, and also, of course, I have the plot planning sheet, which is available through Google Docs, which you can just download for yourself. Um, so all of those tools there are there to help you. If there's anything more that I can do, please do get in touch. I'd be more than happy to see what I can do to help you. Uh, please do also make sure that you follow this blog, that you subscribe, um, just to make sure that you get um, notified for every single post so that you don't miss anything. There's going to be a lot of awesome information coming your way this year. So um, I hope that this information has been helpful to you today in finishing your book, and I wish you all the best in finishing your book in 2018. Okay, bye for now.